Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey, and, and this, this is Dixie, Dixie and, and we're, we're Laugh Hot for Life. Life. We have now been on the road for 80 weeks in our self-built slide-in camper. That's right, guys. And this week, we made it all the way across Colorado and most of the way through Kansas. We found tons of beautiful free camping spots along the way and are excited to share them with you. It's a little bit harder once you cross the Rockies to find free camping. So I hope that this helped all of you along your journeys and, and all of your adventures. Be sure and comment below to let us know what you think of this video. When we left you last week, we were in the San Juan National Forest, having just left Arizona after spending almost four months exploring all over that state. We were really excited for all of the new adventures that we had ahead of us, but first, we had to get all the way through Colorado and most of Kansas. in here to buy some super strong glue to mend Kelsey's glasses but it looks like we might be sitting here for a bit that is a lot of wind and a little bit of rain the house is moving just sitting here in the parking lot I don't want to know what it's gonna feel like up at highway speeds we had too many miles to cover to let weather slow us down, so over the Rocky Mountains we went. There's still snow on top, left over from the spring snow melt. As beautiful as all of the snow was, we were very happy to find a spot in lower elevation where it was a bit warmer. It is cold and very windy. I don't think we'll be getting in this water, but what a beautiful place to camp for the night. What you got? I don't know yet. There's never internet when I find new things. <laughs> sea level and you take it to higher sea level this happens tyson's clearly a southern company we're at 8,000 feet in altitude in colorado with mountains 360 degrees all around us we still managed to find beachfront property Gotta love life on wheels, guys. It's cold. <laughs> as much as we were enjoying our time in Mountain Home Reservoir, we had a lot of miles to cover and we knew that we needed to get on the road. We couldn't help but notice all of the beautiful free camping spots that we could see on our way out though. Not seem too concerned. She does though. And I am. The clouds eventually cleared right in time to drive directly into a wind farm. My next favorite thing to drive through. Well, guys, despite its best efforts, the state of Colorado and its insane weather did not kill us today. We found a gorgeous little reservoir called John Martin's Reservoir with lots of beautiful free camping spots 
and most of them are empty. We were happy to take one for the night and are going to fall into the love hut and curl up for a stormy night ahead of us. literally driving underwater but we're not though <laughs> it was just a little bit of rain Western Kansas didn't appear to have much more to look at, but we were tired and in search for somewhere to lay our heads tonight. To any of you that are curious to the difference between Western free camping and Eastern free camping, Kansas is a great example. As soon as you cross the Rocky Mountains, you start losing all of the BLM and the national forests get very scarce and far in between. So we utilize campgrounds like this, which are in water management as well as wildlife management areas. And they are designed mostly for hunters, but also people just looking for a nice quick stop in a beautiful area. This particular one is across the road from a cornfield. down a dirt road. Apparently if you can get just a little rain in Kansas, things get weird. Oh, that's better. Across the Rockies, National Forest and BLM become a lot more sparse, but ACE properties start showing up. Army Corps of Engineers. Now, not all Army Corps of Engineers sites are free, and a lot of them on this lake are not, but we did find one free spot that's pretty secluded with just one neighbor back there, and I think it'll work perfect for us to hang out for a couple days. We drove the entire day yesterday in rain and 
clouds and we got parked. We didn't really realize how beautiful this place was until the sun came out. It is so good to be back in green and we can't find a single reason to leave the spot today. Check it out, our neighbor even left. What do you think, Kels? I don't think we got much more than a day here. We got things to do. We've had the pleasure of smelling freshly mown grass. I've talked Shane into hanging out here for a couple days, mostly because there's not really a whole lot of places in between here and where we've got to be for this next school we build, but also because we have some projects on the Love Hut to complete. And obviously, top of my priority list is putting bullhorns on the Love Hut. there's really no other way to get any sort of brackets behind there without drilling out a small hole but all our power tools are very deep within the truck and they're all gonna be very unpacked in about two days so we're gonna hold off a little bit and catch this project a little further down the road and if any of you happen to have an idea of how we can get those horns mounted securely without damaging the truck we'd love to hear them comment below yeah <laughs> okay dixie you can come inside That's not your spot. That's my spot. <laughs> done today in town so we figured it was a good idea to go down the road to the paid campground and get a good shower in. Just because we live a nomadic life doesn't mean we don't have to do those normal things. First stop for us was the optometrist. Kels had broken her glasses frames and I was in desperate need of some new eyes. And then it was time to do our least favorite chore. It was laundry day. I'd say we pushed it to its absolute limit this time. We got all of our errands in town done 
and made our way back out to nature as quickly as possible. We found this absolutely beautiful state lake called Douglas State Lake that has a ton of free camping all around it. We snagged this beautiful little gym for the night and it looks like we won't have any neighbors. Not bad for a Friday night, huh, babe? Clouds are starting to look angry. There's supposed to be thunderstorms tonight. Oh goodness, that's a lot of laundry to put up and a whole lot of cleaning to do. Mm -hmm. We got a busy night. Be sure and comment below to let us know what you thought. Also, I would like to take a minute to thank each and every one of you for following us along this far on our journey. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, as well as the notification bell so you know when we post a new video of our exciting and adventurous travels. <laughs> That's right, guys. And be sure and check out our other social media pages as well, such as Facebook and Instagram. Guys, we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Have a good week. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Bye, y'all.